It has been a trying few weeks for Britain following allegations that its biggest shareholder was running a Ponzi scheme in Mauritius. As a result, the company's shares have taken a beating as investors run away from the company. But as Adley Chingole explains, the Mauritian government is moving to ease concerns as it takes a sit on Britain's board. The Mauritian government has become the newest largest shareholder at Britam following the resignation and exit of Dawood Rawat from the board of the insurance firm. Through the national insurance company now, it is the government who is going to be holding the shares. So there's no risk at all. Rawat relinquished his position following accusations that he was involved in a 63.7 billion shilling Ponzi scheme in Mauritius. This news has led to the takeover of Rawat's bank, Bremer Banking Corporation, with the bank's parent company, British American Investment Company, being put under conservators ostensibly to protect the interest of policyholders. The scandal has sent ripples all the way to Kenya due to the relationship between some of its directors and Britain. This has seen Britain shares slide 14% this month alone from 26 shillings at the beginning of April to 22 shillings and 25 cents today as investors dump the stock to limit the exposure to the unfolding crisis. However, the Mauritian government has come out to reassure investors that there is limited exposure to the crisis in Mauritius. Kenya is not affected by this at all. Uh, because it's only a 23% holding, and but you know there's no there's no consolidation or you know there's no control which is exercised on 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 the, on Britain, on the entity in Kenya, so it is isolated from what has happened in, in here in Mauritius. But despite this, there is fear that Rawat's assets, including the 23.9% stake in Britain, valued at close to 14 billion shillings, will be liquidated to pay off the affected 23,000 victims of the Ponzi scheme and as many as 160,000 BAI insurance policy holders. We'll probably have to monetize that, uh, that investment because policy, share, policy holders in Mauritius are looking for their capital to be repaid back. And, and uh, we'll have to convert, convert that, that very good investment into, into cash at some stage. However, given the depressed share prices at the moment, the Mauritian government says it is not in a hurry to dispose of the stock and will instead take a measured approach to ensure shareholders get the maximum possible return. We have to make sure that uh, um, um, serious bidders come, come to the table. There must be a, a proper bidding process. Um, that, that process, I certainly would like to do that in the full transparency of policyholders and of management in Kenya. The news comes as Britain restated its full year earnings for the year ended December 2014. According to the statement, pre-tax profit fell from 3.73 billion shillings to 3.2 billion shillings, while after-tax income was adjusted downwards from 2.9 billion shillings to 2.5 billion shillings. Adelaide Chongole, KTN Business.